What's up guys, Charles from Redex Dev. Welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're checking out the Samyang 24F 1.8 Astro Photography Lens. We're gonna test out some photographs and videos here in this wonderful place called Fort Siloso, Singapore's only preserved fort here in the island of Sentosa. You can see in the background, huge, huge 120 millimeters dual purpose guns for shooting at the sea and as well as the sky. So, yep, right now I'm filming on it. And how does it look? Is it any good? So I haven't done a video like this in a really long time in my car. I'm using the GoPro Hero 9 at the moment and I'm using the Catafold wireless system as the audio. And today's video, we are headed to a little island in the south of Singapore called Sentosa. And I'm going to this place, which is the only preserved fort in Singapore, which is called Fort Siloso. Siloso is actually the Malayan word for rock because this fort is actually situated in the western part of Sentosa and uh, just at the edge to protect from sea invasions. The British used this to protect Singapore because it was a really important trading harbor. The main purpose is actually to check out my new $500 astro photography lens which is the uh, Samyang 24 f 1.8 lens supposedly for astrophotography but I checked out the reviews and it seems really really good for just 500 bucks wide aperture wide angle and basically the autofocusing mo most important is that it's really silent so that's a really good sign and uh, yeah I'm gonna take some photographs and videos on my Samyang 24 f 1.8 lens on my Sony a7c and then we'll see how good the quality of the photographs and videos are. So let's go. Oh, there's a lot of people there. You can see a ton of people. It's like, I think this is an original, uh, it's sealed off. It looks pretty original. It looks really rusted and stuff. That's cool. Now the bad news is that we need to take the stairs, which is 11 stories high because the lift is under maintenance. Oh my God. So I need to walk all the way up there, which is pretty crazy. And it is very, very hot. And a lot of people are here as well. So, yep. What to do? Let's go. All the way up. Oh my god. Oh shit, it's high. Oh man, let's start the walk. So here we are in the Fort Siloso Skywalk. Check out the view, guys. We are about 12 stories above ground. Look at that beautiful scenery, all the ships, all the bunker ships, the sail ships, whatever ships. So we're gonna take a walk, handheld, see how the stabilization is. Okay, so how's the field of view for vlogging? 24 should be perfectly fine. Yep, I got my hands stretched all the way out. Hopefully you have a good view. How's the autofocusing? Should be an infinity focus in this kind of bright scenario. I don't have an ND filter, so that's an issue. The other forts on the island. I think the one that is abandoned in the forest is called Fort Serapong. So the one that is abandoned, Fort Serapong, was built in 18. 79 atop Bukit Serapong, the highest point on Sentosa. So that's the one that's abandoned in the forest. Oh, check it out. So this looks like an anti aircraft. Looks pretty cool, has wheels and stuff, so it can be towed 
by behind by a Land Rover or a tonner truck. So this is where you load in the projectile. Looks like something off Pawn Stars. This is where you can tow. Oh, this is a big one. So I'm shooting an F1.8 now, 1 over 250 auto ISO 7 inch RML gun. There's a small penis on the floor. Okay, so I got uh, my picture profile changed to hybrid log gamma. Because some areas are really bright and some areas are really dark. So I think HLG will do the trick. And those are the projectiles. Okay, so this is an 1880s 6 inch off gun barrel replica quick firing gun barrel. I don't know what it looks like, but. It doesn't seem like much, this replica. What's inside here? Maybe for storing your ammo and stuff. And it's blue, strange color. Battery command post. So this is an 1897 battery command post. It was equipped with a depression range finder and a position finder. So here we are going up to the battery command post. Looks really cool. Oh, you can see down right over there there's like a tent let's check out what's inside here thank god for that fan over there warship identification check it out So this is the 6 inch of gun magazine tunnel C complex, you can see that it's going down. Looks pretty nice. Let's check it out downstairs. This is the entrance. in 1912 it's a drop ammo down I guess it's like a pulley, pulley kind of thingy yeah, the hoist, ammunition hoist. Okay, so we're headed down to somewhere. Ah, here's where the other guns are. You can see over there. And hopefully I don't fall down the staircase. Oh, can you actually go in? Oh, that's pretty cool.
All right, so HLG mode, so probably you can see my face a little bit more than just now when I was in a movie picture profile. But you can see over here, Guns of Sentosa, built in 1944, three guns, one over here, and then one behind there, which is like side by side. That's really strange placement if you ask me. And one all the way on the other end. Hopefully you can see that we'll be walking over there anyways. So these were 120 millimeter naval dual purpose guns. So he's the commander, I guess. And then drops all the way down and fires. I'm not sure, sure what those are. Let's check out this building, troop ship. Oh, that looks cool. And it's air conditioned. Oh shit, that gave me a scare, that guy lying down there. Crap. The batons. Those are Japanese soldiers, basically. Oh no, they're British soldiers. So we go to the barrack room. Oh, they're cool. They got old, old pictures of the British soldiers over there. The laundry room. Two giant cannons over here. Cannonballs. Not sure what they were used for. Kapow! And a few crates of gunpowder over here. So, yeah, just outside the guards' bungalow. for a pretty long time and this seems to be the start so I took the skywalk over and then now I'm right back at the uh, starting route for walking you can see the two giant guns behind me and two smaller ones as well on top over there it's a really nice location let me walk further away so you can have a better view of the location and there's some sort of building and stuff Cool posters. So let's see where the staircase leads. Oh, cool. Pursuit of peace. Oh, so this is probably the surrender barracks. Tons of the Japanese on the left, and this is these are the British guys. There he is signing the treaty. Uh, treaty. This should be uh, General Percival, if I'm not wrong. So this is probably one of uh, Singapore's most famous hero during the World War to uh, resistance against the Japanese Limbo Singh Force 136 who was actually part of the British Special Operations Executive a secret organization you know to try to this you know try to cause as much problems 
for the Japanese as possible. So here you can see three 64 pounder RML guns which were manufactured in 1867 to actually protect the western approach of Keppel Harbor facing the sea over here. This is an engine room and a storeroom, so let's check it out. Wreckage of a Japanese aircraft engine. It's a mini portable cannon. Okay, so here is uh, Tunnel A. I'm not sure where this leads to. Let's check it out. Just to warn people of uh, an air raid or attack, imminent attack from the sea. So this is the observation post and a 12 pounder gun. What's this? Wow, no idea what this is, but it looks pretty spooky if you ask me. Okay, tunnels, tunnels, they sealed off the ladder because I think people have been falling down. It's another entry. Nothing inside here. guy is on a binoculars staring at the wall there's a sealed off tunnel that's interesting going to the 12 pounder gun oh this goes further down and we come to the exit Fire director tower. You in the shelter? Get yourselves out of there and get a move on, will you? Sorry, sir. I keep losing you. Oh, that's cool. Yes, sir. The 12 pounder crew is gone, sir. To support the six inch crew. Yes, sir. Yes, we're cracking up now. Oh, cool. I realize that, sir. You got more realistic so shells over shot. here. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm going up to you, too, sir. If only they cut the trees. Really, really nice view, now the trees are blocking the sucks. So this is the uh, 12 pounder I believe 1893 12 pounder of gun QF gun sorry not of gun Quick firing basically Oh I'm near the edge. There's a building down there. Not sure what that building is. But it seems to be sealed off. Oh, what a nice view from here. Tunnel. Now we're going up. Pretty steep. Whew. That was a steep walk down the stairs. Steep climb, I mean, from down the tunnel. Yeah. All right, you can see 9.2 inch BL guns. Three of them casemates. And here you go tunnel B exit. Oh, that goes up as well. Let's check it out upstairs. 
Huh. It's a big again. Six inch gun battery. E complex. Oh, uh, that's about it basically. It's leaking. Guys squatting down over there, passing the projectiles all the way to the other room. It's pretty cool. A lot, a lot of interesting stuff about how the Japanese actually kind of caused a lot of mayhem in Singapore and other parts of the world. QWs and stuff. Carol van der Steren. Miniature model of St. David's Chapel at Simon Road POW's camp. Yep, so basically that's all for Tunnel B. Let's go up. Alright guys, so thanks for watching. That was probably it. Samyang 24mm f1.8 test on basically half of Fort Siloso. I couldn't, I don't have the time to actually travel the whole of Fort Siloso because it's really, really huge. So yep, nice area. We were just below, now we're on top. So hope you enjoyed this video. Tell me what you think in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button, like button, and the notification button guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.